Hey there, it's Clay with modernlove.life. And in this video, we're gonna tell you exactly what to say when your ex says, let's just be friends. This can be a concerning thing that a lot of people hear from their ex. Um, you know, if you're connecting with them, you're getting closer, and then they just say, hey, let's just be friends or something like that. You can be like, uh, you know, stake in the heart. Uh, there's no chance of us getting back together. I should just give up, move on, and all that stuff. And, you know, there are a lot of people out there that will tell you to just give up and move on when that your ex says that. And that's totally fine if that's what you want to do. Like what I say, uh, you, you can do whatever you want to do. Just be prepared to accept the consequences of whatever your actions might be. So if you just want to move on and give up, that's fine, but just be willing to accept the consequences that, okay, you may not be able to fully understand what your ex is going through here. Um, you may have some regrets wondering what would have been if you just pushed a little bit harder, if you just lived into your values a little bit more rather than giving up so soon, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, that's a story for another day. Your ex says, let's just be friends. What do you say? What do you do? So as with most things on this channel, I want to help you to feel into the situation to know what the right thing to say is rather than just memorizing something and just sort of robotically saying it out. Because if you just memorize something and you just blurt it out without thinking, you're basically not being present. And what I want to encourage you to do is to actually be present. And so what we wanna do is we want to say, okay, there's a couple different circumstances that could potentially cause your ex to uh, say, hey, let's just be friends. So I'm gonna go through at least the main circumstances that would cause your ex to say that. And we'll talk about why they're saying that and what we can do in those circumstances. First of all, your ex may be saying this from a place of high emotional connection with you or low emotional connection with you, okay? If they're coming at you from a place of low emotional connection and they say, hey, let's just be friends, basically what's going on is they're trying to drop the pressure. They feel a heavy amount of pressure um, to interact with you in a certain way, either because of your previous romantic relationship with one another, or maybe they just feel a lot of social pressure, like, oh my goodness, like everyone says we should get back together, or they just they just don't know how to get back to, uh, how to interact with you because the two of you have this romantic past and they're just kind of confused, and they're just feeling this sort of sense of pressure for one reason or another. And so they might just say, hey, let's just be friends to try and cut that pressure down. And what we wanna do in this sort of situation is to basically just say, yeah, I agree with you. Let's be friends. Let's not force anything that's not there. I think it makes absolutely perfect sense if we're friends for the time being. Because many times, if your ex has a low emotional uh, connection with you, the last thing you want to do is be adding pressure to them to make some sort of decision, okay? Um, so that's, that's really what you want to do. You want to agree with it. You want to say yes. Uh, and that is actually going to give you permission to connect with them even more and build up that emotional connection so that you can get to that point where you can actually put... Um, extra pressure on them. Now, again, a lot of people are probably thinking, hey, am I putting myself in the friend zone here? Isn't this like counterintuitive? Isn't this like sabotaging myself or something? Here's the thing. You don't need to worry about you and your ex being in the friend zone. I mean, as long as the two of you had like a legit romantic relationship, they're never gonna be able to just move on from that. They're never gonna be able to just forget that, okay? We've talked about this before, but potentially, hypothetically, it is possible for your ex to lose attraction for you um, if you have some sort of dramatic personality shift where it's like, okay, I signed up for this kind of partner, but instead I ended up getting this kind of partner. Um, or if you have some sort of dramatic transformational change for the worse in your ex's opinion, you know, maybe you gained or lost like a tremendous amount of weight. Again, I'm not talking about like five pounds or something. I know a lot of people are really critical of themselves. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, whoa, you look like a totally different person kind of, you know, physical transformation, okay? I've never had a client who has legit lost attraction with their ex, but theoretically, I could imagine this would be the, the, the circumstance that that would happen under. What we wanna do is we want to just say, okay, it's fine. We're not putting ourselves in the friend zone here because our ex is always going to see us as an attractive person, most likely unless, you know, personality shift, physical transformation, all that stuff. Um, our ex is probably always going to see us in an attractive light. And so um, all we're really doing is just dropping the pressure. You know, there's no way they're just gonna be able to forget all the intimate moments, the times that you slept together, the times that you kissed, the times that you shared that warm memory by the beach and all that. They're, they're just not gonna be able to forget that, okay? You just can't turn that off and on. So when you say, yeah, let's just be friends for the time being, let's not force anything that's not there, you're not putting yourself in the friend zone, you're dropping the pressure by giving them something to tell themselves when they start naturally asking these questions. 
why are we talking to each other? Why are we meeting up? Why are we spending time together? They're going to start asking themselves these questions. And if they don't have an answer already in their mind of, oh yeah, we're, we're just friends, they're going to start to overthink this. And as they start to overthink this, that's when they start to feel that pressure build up and that's when they start to pull back. So that's what you do if there's a low emotional connection. Now, if your ex is um, at a high emotional connection with you and they're saying, you know, hey, let's just be friends, um, that means, okay, they have this strong emotional connection. They can probably feel that this emotional connection is pulling the two of you closer together. There, there's no denying that the two of you are connected emotionally and they're starting to feel this pull to be together with you. But by the way, if you like these videos, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, it does help us out. It's a totally free way to support the channel. Just, you know, give it a tap or a smash or whatever. Just hit the thumbs up button. They feel this strong pull towards you and they're probably afraid to actually make some sort of move to turn this into a concrete actual relationship. That is to say they're feeling that they're approaching this point where they can't keep continue interacting with you the same way and they're feeling this, this, this nudge of like, okay, this can't go on forever. I'm starting to fall in love with you. Where's this gonna go? This is kind of scary. I don't know if I'm ready to trust again. I don't know if I can tell my friends and family that we're getting back together. I don't know how they're gonna take it. All of that sort of stuff. And so when they say, hey, let's just be friends, oftentimes they're trying to find a way to relieve that pressure. Now again, dropping the pressure is important in the early stages of connecting emotionally. However, once you have that emotional connection in place, we don't wanna just let the pressure drop because then we're just gonna end up staying stuck exactly where we are. So we actually wanna keep the pressure high if you have a high emotional connection with your ex. And so what you might wanna say is you know, something along the lines of, hey, that's totally fine, I get it. Um, so we want to be accepting, obviously, but we also want to say, and where I'm at is I actually do want a committed relationship. I, I, I'd like it to be with you, but if you're not in a place for that, that's okay. Just let me know and I can, you know, start dating other people. And um, j just so you know, if I do start dating other people, I might find someone, we might end up in a relationship together and th they may not feel comfortable the way that we're interacting right now. So we may have to stop talking. And um, I just wanted to let you know that that's, that's, that's how things might go. Um, is that something that you're okay with? And then we basically turn it around for them to say yes or no. Uh, you, ba basically, if you're in our effortless connection course, you know this as the one-way spikes strategy. We want to be able to do this in order to keep the pressure on them so that they realize, hey, I can't have it both ways the way I have been having it up until now. And that they have to be able to make a choice. They have to choose either to get closer to you or to risk letting it all go and to actually, um, you know, say, hey, it is important for me to actually have this relationship and it is important for me to actually have this uh, connection with you. So let's just actually get off of this point of indecision, stop sitting on the fence and just make a choice here one way or the other. That can be really powerful actually. So again, drop the pressure if you still need to build the emotional connection, then build the emotional connection. And as the emotional connection is there, if you're starting to get that let's just be friends thing still, then you want to keep that pressure high and force a decision to be made. Anyway, once again, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for YouTube. And if you do wanna learn more about how to do all of this in maybe some greater detail, please make sure that you check out our course called Effortless Connection. It helps you through some of these high stakes conversations and tricky kinds of interpersonal communication sort of things with your ex, with your partner, all that sort of stuff. You can find information on that over at modernlove.life slash EC. That's modernlove.life slash E as in effortless, C as in connection. There's also a link for it down below in the description box. Anyway, once again, my name is Clay. Hit that thumbs up button and I will talk to you next time.